Hey guys, uh, here today going to show you some more customizations that we did for the uh, Upco two-wheel drive uh, electric utility bike or adventure bike. Uh, last video I showed you how we retrofitted and made a little mount for this Rambo bike cart. And today we are going to show you a two-inch ball mount for the Upco. Uh, so again, utilizing the structural lugs that they have on their, oh here. You know, they have 11 of these lug and mounting points. Gives you a lot of opportunity um, to customize and build in a very modular manner, which we utilize in creating this two inch receiver mount. Um, so obviously your limitation here is going to be a tongue weight. Um, I believe the rear is rated for about 100 pounds. The uh, gross vehicle on the rear is 280. So um, you're, you can actually do quite a bit with this uh, as long as you are watching your tongue weight. Um, so right now I have this hooked up to an Ultratech trailer. Uh, this is kind of a nice trailer because uh, this also has a pivoting uh, coupler. So this is kind of nice when utilizing with the bike. Uh, the trailer pivots and uh, eliminates any twisting forces on the hitch or the bike. So really an ideal setup in this uh, case um, and all I did is I used some this is eighth inch angle I went down and made a long cross member going down to support and give some rigidity here and also tie into this uh, to level out and put a mount here I added a gusset just to double up on the material on the inside but this is all just aluminum eighth inch aluminum angle it's a 24 inch piece that's uh, a quarter inch flat stock and that's about a 12 inch piece. And I just used my uh, foam level and things like that to get the angles right. Uh, I used the vice grips and drilled through. These are stainless steel bolts. And this thing is like rock solid. Um, I'm totally impressed. I mean, it, it's got uh, you know left to right rigidity. I mean, if I get this twisted to the point where I'm hitting the tire, I'm gonna have uh, bigger issues. Uh, but, you know, preliminary testing, uh, this should hold up well. And as long as you're being smart, um, you know, with your tongue weight, you know, this is pretty light. I can easily lift this, you know, but I have a lot of space in the back here to, you know, if I was loading, a, a loading wood, um, you could stack a lot of wood, um, being conscious of your weight distribution in the trailer. Um, and it'd be a nice little get up for going and hauling wood, uh, out in the woods and things like that. Um, I did have to adjust the preload on the shocks. So. I'll show you quick here, you know, stock from the factory. They got these set pretty soft for, you know, road riding and comfort riding. Um, so to eliminate some of the sag with the extra weight and tongue weight, I adjusted the preload here by twisting this in, putting more tension on the spring. I was actually able to do that by hand. Uh, I made them even just kind of a generic measurement with my fingers. And now you know, pushing on this, it's pretty tight. Um, so that way it can handle the extra tongue weight without uh, damaging or bottoming out the shocks. Um, so great. <laughs> I mean, you're really only limited by, you know, your imagination and fabricating skills on these, uh, these bikes. And they're, they're pretty impressive um, and kind of they're fun to work with because they are so modular in design. There's a lot of opportunities to do some neat things. So uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more. Bye.
That was fun. That's pretty badass, right? You got that on video?